Shalom upon all the children of Israel and Judah forever. So this video is follow up to my previous videos here at the Lamaz Everlasting Spring of Holy Water. <laughs> so I just finished another day of work on my land. And so I decided to, after work, come to the spring. And by the way, this is January. Before I forget, this is January. Uh, last January, me and the boys from Lamaz, we came here, we cleaned up all of this green you see up here. We cleaned all the way up to that piece of wood up there. And we put this stick back. It was actually two pieces of stick, but um, I think the other one, I guess the water, the wind, or it's been a year now. I moved away the other stick. But this stick here, we placed here last January. And look, now I showed you in some previous videos how powerful this water is, this living water. It, 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 I, it, I think it can take anything that's dead and make it alive. So it had nothing on it. And look at how fruitful this stick is. And it is not planted in the earth. This is all a rock, by the way. All of this is rock. It's just covered with all of the green um, leaves and, and um, weeds and stuff that you see. So this is just a rock. It's just a rock. We just put these rocks around it last year, January. It's still here. It's all on a rock. And it just, you know, the bark is what's keeping it alive. You can see some places of this of this stick has no bark on it, like right here. This is no bark. Okay, up here, it's kind of blend in if you can see it really well. It blends in. I don't know if I'm going slow enough for you. And then it's being fruitful and multiplying. Hallelujah. It is living spring. So I'm gonna take a bath eh? and wash my clothes and take a bath. And then I'm gonna go home and have a real good nice rest. So you see, I came prepared. That's my water. I already filled up my water. That's my stuff so I can take my shower. Never take a shower! <laughs> Woo. Whenever you get this water, never tamper with it in any way. Don't add anything, subtract anything, drink it as it is for your best health results. Let me give you also, also a little testimony. Uh, I, I also use it for cooking. Anything you make your tea, cook your food, you can, and bathing in it is just as energizing as well. So, uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, this water has helped to heal my heart condition. When I was in uh, America, I uh, several times I had a few uh, chest pains and incidents with my heart and I had to go to the emergency room and I had several EKGs and I have had a first degree AV block. First degree AV block. Atrial ventricular block. That's the one in the arteries of my heart had a blockage. And several times it showed up. Came back here, did one like about three or four months ago. And I uh, had a heart test on my heart. Came out perfect. Now, first degree AB block is not much. Um, it's, it does not have uh, any risk. Uh, there's nothing you can do to stop it or make it go away. Uh, sometimes it goes away by itself. But I believe this water healed me. Yes, sorry. This is the water that my mother drank from, my grandmother and grandfather drank from, and, and my ancestors on my mother's side of the family here in the south side of uh, I Hiranura or Ianalau however you choose to pronounce it. The ancient name for, the, the, for this island uh, is, is called, you know, today St. Lucia. And so, yeah, this water has healed me. Uh, my eye prescription, I haven't changed my, got, or even had an eye exam in about three or four years. And I just got one not too long ago. 
I would say maybe about a, maybe a, a month or so ago. Yeah, around early December, sometime early December. And I do not need new glasses. So my, I was born with an eye disease, by the way. And um, this, this happens in a lot of people. But anyway, don't need any stronger prescriptions. What I have now, the glasses I have now, is all I need. And I believe this water is going to reverse and give me back my 2020 that I was born with. Hallelujah. So, I'm going to cut this video short right here. Until next time, Shalom upon all the children of Israel and Judah forever.